So what happens if every mountain on Earth would suddenly disappear? Are we dependent on them? And an even bigger question, could we live without them? We often see mountains as a basic natural feature. They're just there. Like trees are just there, oceans are just there, or like we're just here. It makes sense. Some people find mountains incredibly fascinating. For others, it's one of the most standard things in life. But what if I told you they're actually much more of vital importance to us than we could ever imagine? Possibly even the most important thing for us to keep breathing. You see, while mountains are hard to travel through and sometimes even dangerous, they're an important part of safety on this planet. In some way, they keep us protected from, among others, dryness, heavy weather patterns, and much more. But these are just a few side effects if you think about the actual importance of mountains. So let's see how we would do without mountains. And honestly, I can tell you, not very well. Earth's famous mountain ranges have a very long history. The North American Rocky Mountains, for example, are thought to have originated up to 80 million years ago. First off, how were these mountains created? This happens when two tectonic plates collide with each other, creating a big bump, also called a mountain. And these tectonic plates are of great importance and of far more importance than most people realize. Whenever mountains would disappear, this would also mean there wouldn't be any tectonic plates left. This means the hot mantle below our surface would take over, creating extreme heats underneath us and making it practically impossible for us to walk on it. The only organisms who could be safe are birds, high in the sky. Lava inside tectonic plates would flood on the surface of cities, landscapes would be destroyed, and millions of lives would be taken. But would you believe me if this is just one of the few cases in which Earth would be in hold of a catastrophic ending? Mountains also have great influences on the variety of flora and fauna. But even more than that, without mountains, Earth's trees would simply perish. Now, I don't have to explain to you why trees are of importance to our existence. Huge masses of oxygen would vanish along with trees, making breathing considerably harder. Along with oxygen, there's one other thing we need more than anything. Water. You would say with all the oceans, we have plenty of water. Still, only 3% of all the water on Earth can actually be used. And you might guess where this water mostly comes from. Yes, mountains. All rivers on Earth originally started high up there, on top of these huge mountains. It's even estimated that 60 to 80% of all fresh water comes from either mountains or glaciers. Rivers, lakes, and these beautiful waterfalls we've admired for so long would be gone along with the disappearance of mountains. Very little drinking water, small amounts of oxygen, lava flooding all around the globe, and we're not even halfway the consequences. Other direct effects would be extreme weather changes. Because of the mass of all that stone, the crust underneath it, which had been forced into the mantle, would rebound, resulting in earthquakes all across the planet. Volcanoes would erupt when their stone plugs were either weakened or removed, tornadoes would be more likely, and great desert storms might develop in areas no longer protected by mountains. With the potential for severe erosion from floods, these landscapes may become more desolate than ever. You see, mountains are not only huge, but are also very effective barriers for rain clouds and wind. And without them, we would sort of have to survive on our own. Mountains are like our very own wall around our castle. Aside from all this, we wouldn't be able to dig minerals and metals anymore. Right now, mountains are mostly the source for these precious elements of life, but if these mountains disappeared, minerals would be kilometers deep in the ground, and there would be no way we could possibly reach them. Of course, this is just a side note when we realize that the globe is on fire, affected by earthquakes, lifted up by tornadoes, struck by lightning, and desperately in need of water and oxygen. But believe it or not, these are also quite light consequences. What would basically happen in the long term is that the ocean would catch up with us. Or simpler said, all of the continents would sink below the surface of our oceans. You see, the continents are eroding, and without plate tectonics, Erosion would cause continents to sink beneath the ocean's surface. But in the most catastrophic event, we could eventually lose our atmosphere. You might wonder, why? How could mountains possibly have any effect on Earth's shield? There are a few things that can cause the removal of our atmosphere. A massive coronal ejection or a solar storm could burn off the atmosphere. A more likely scenario is atmospheric loss due to a massive meteor impact. But there's one even more obvious event, and it's already the most widely discussed topic at the moment. 
the warming of the planet due to the release of carbon dioxide. Now, without us understanding the cycle of carbon dioxide, mountains have been protecting us from it for millions of years now. The process of erosion of mountains is indispensable. Basically, erosion causes mountains to soak up most of the CO2 that would later on warm up the planet, and like previously discussed, destroy and put down all plants and trees. The trees would simply choke of CO2 without these mountains, but also would destroy our atmosphere. This is without a doubt the worst case scenario possible, but wouldn't be an odd thing to happen. A small summary of planet's destiny would mean it would transform into a lava planet, much like it was when it was first created, then transform into a giant rock with continents sunk to the ocean's surface, until it eventually becomes a giant snowball because of the lack of an atmosphere. Without the atmosphere, we would be exposed to the cold of the universe, a terrible cold of negative 270 degrees Celsius. By this time, human life would already be long gone. We would eventually turn into some kind of Venus planet. However, one question still remains. Could this situation become true one day? Well, there's really only one cause that could lead to this catastrophic event, the disappearance of the moon. Without the moon, we would simply lack a gravitational pull. Now, you might know about the moon ruling tides on oceans, but they also rule tides on Earth's surface, or tectonic plate movements. The reason for mountains to disappear would be the lack of a moon. To answer our first question, could this become true? No, for as far as we know, this can't happen. In conclusions, mountains are not only incredibly fascinating and great for our little hiking trips, but are also extremely important in the process of keeping our Earth safe. With a little teamwork from the moon, tectonic plate movement in our great mountains, we can feel at home on planet Earth. Now, let me know what you think about these big rocky bumps in the comments. And while you're on your way there, also consider subscribing to the channel to support us in creating more engaging and informative videos like this one. Anyway, thank you for watching and see you in the next of Earth Basics.